So in my previous videos, I've shown you how to use washes to paint, uh, dry brushing, layering, how to paint specific miniatures. We've gone over what type of paints to use. But now let's talk about getting the paint off the miniature. Today, we're going to be talking about stripping your miniatures. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome to Dice Junkies Paint Lab. My name is Tim from Eldridge Ashes Studios, and first thing I want you to do is be sure to go and click that subscribe button. That way you will be able to see any of the new videos that come up soon, uh, or any of the other things that we have going on on the channel. So getting back to what is kind of a controversial subject, stripping uh, of miniatures, not the other type of stripping, that's for a different podcast. But with stripping your miniatures, uh, it's all over the internet. There's different ways that you can do it, different ways that you should, that you shouldn't. Everybody talks about their own ideas and gives advice on how to strip miniatures. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to do something a little bit different. We're the paint lab. We do experiments. So I wanted to experiment with a couple of different stripping agents. Now, the one that I'm used to, super clean, it is a degreaser. Uh, it is fairly safe on plastic miniatures. Uh, pretty much all of these different types of stripping methods, by the way, you do not want to do on resin. Resin is kind of a fickle mistress, and a lot of stuff is going to eat into it. So. You may test some of it out on if you have a sprue left over or something like that before you actually try and uh, strip paint off of a resin model. But today we're going to be using plastic and metal. With that, I'm going to be using the one, like I mentioned, super clean. That's what I'm familiar with. Uh, I've also heard really, really good things about simple green which is another type of degreaser. I figure all degreasers will work the same, but I have been proven wrong before. And the last one that I wanted to use is 100% acetone. I've heard people use it before. Um, I've used it on very specific situations, and we'll get in that in a little while, but uh, acetone is to be used with caution. There are several different people out there that talk about using paint thinners. Um, paint thinner, it will destroy your plastic miniatures. Paint thinners tend to be a little bit more caustic. I want to stay away from them. Mineral spirits, I've heard are pretty good as well. Uh, to be honest, I don't have any information about them. So uh, if you're a fan of using thinners, if you're, you, if you're a fan of stripping miniatures with mineral spirits, hit me up in the comments. Let me know. Um, I, I would love to know more about that. But I wanted to kind of keep our sample size small, which is why I went with two different degreasers and the acetone. So let's get into it and see what happened. All right, so here we have the miniatures that we're going to do. First two are these pox walkers. One is going into each of our degreasing solutions. One will go into the simple green, the other into super clean, and we will see how they come out. Kind of expecting that ink to come off first, but there is also a base coat and a primer underneath. The next one that we're going to be doing is the Necron. So it's got a metallic paint, and I'm not really expecting anything different with it, but I just wanted to see if the metallic paint has anything to do with stripping, if it comes out different. This is an old mummy that I painted a long time ago. It has been varnished, and it is a metal figure. So I'm going to be using it with acetone. I think that's probably going to be the best way to get the paint off. This one is an old plastic bones figure. Um, 
as you can see, not a great paint job. It's one of the early ones. It's also missing an arm. But with this one, I'm going to use it with acetone. I'm just going to want to see what happens when I put the plastic figures in acetone in a strong uh, solution like that and uh, kind of figure out what happens from there. This one is a figure from DC Hero Clicks. It is DC Bombshell's Batgirl. And with this one, they used enamel. And you can see the paint job on it is not that great. I wanna strip all that off so that I can paint it. And hopefully, since it's so thick, pick up some of the good details because the sculpting is actually really good. We just need to get all the paint that's kind of globbed up around it off. The final one that we have here is a metal figure again. This one, instead of using an acetone, I'm going to be using a degreaser. As you can see, uh, I kind of let a friend of mine paint this one, and I want to get all that off. So we'll take that, take the other ones, and uh, get our solutions ready. So the first one that we have here is super clean. It is purple, it is kind of smells like licorice, and it is a degreaser. This one is simple green, also a degreaser. Both of these you should be able to find in the automotive section of your local big box store. But it is seems to be a little bit thicker. Uh, I'm more familiar with the super clean than I am simple green, which is why I wanted to try it out and see what happens. And last but not least, we have 100% acetone. As you can see, I've got it in a airtight because it does dry fairly quickly and produce vapors, but this one is in a metal container. It will eat through plastic. That's why I want to see what happens when we put the plastic miniature in there. So. With these, we'll go ahead and get started. Starting with the degreaser, plop each of these in here, and I found this kind of interesting. So, in super green, super clean, it floats. In simple green, it drops. Wonder if that makes a difference. We'll find out. So this is the metal figure that was in acetone not a lot came off but this is the plastic figure as you can see it's almost yellowish that's an actual acid burn that has burned in and pocked the plastic figure this one is our DC figure the hero clicks and it has pulled almost all of the enamel off this is after five minutes by the way not very long. So this is day two. Uh, I let all of the degreaser ones sit in there for two days. And with the super clean here, you can see all that ink has come off. And even just from my fingers, the base color is pulling off of the mini. We'll scrub it up just a little bit to see how it comes out. Be careful, this stuff is very slippery. And if your skin is sensitive, use gloves. I've used this stuff a lot. It's not that big a deal for me. But uh, we still haven't made it to plastic. This is after 24 hours. Uh, we've got the black primer. So, probably going to have to set that in there a little longer. Now let's see what happened to the metal figure. So for this one, scrub it again and it is coming off cleanly it literally just falls off has not sat in there any longer than the plastic figure but it is pulling off and you can see it here not only the top layers of paint but also the primer everything is coming right off probably gonna take Rinse this off in some water and see how it looks a little bit later on. Now for the simple green. 
So, not coming off with my fingers, but the ink definitely did come off. Now this is interesting because after scrubbing it a little bit, just like we did with the one in the Super Clean, you can actually see the plastic. Not only did it eat through the base, but also the primer. So simple green came down to the bottom. That's pretty good. And scrubbed up that Necron a little bit. Yeah, no, just as I expected. The metallic paint didn't cause any difference. You can see a little bit of primer, but you can also see the plastic from the miniature itself. So, after priming everything up, this is the plastic miniature that we had. And it is kind of hard to see on film, but there are pock marks all over this thing, mainly on the sword and the thinner areas and the face kind of half melted while it was in there. Um, it's fairly gross. Uh, something I may use on the tabletop, but definitely not I'm something I'm going to show piece. Um, don't put plastic, regular plastic, non-rubberized plastic into acetone. Rubberized plastic, that's fine. This is the bombshell Batgirl. And now, even with the layer of primer on there, you can see the details so much better. And the acetone didn't really hurt the miniature that much. Uh, a little bit on that thin top of the bomb, but I went ahead and did another one, because it only took me five minutes. This is Robin from the same line of uh, DC Hero Clicks. And yeah, you can actually see his mask, which beforehand you couldn't. Uh, it pulled almost all of the paint off, and it primed up really nicely. So this is the Black Knight that we had in the Super Clean. And it is super clean. Uh, I really didn't do much of anything else other than what you saw. I scrubbed it up and rinsed it off. And then we have the Mummy. So, as you can see, you are seeing metal now, but I'll <laughs> give you a little hint. I actually went back and let this soak in the simple green for a while. I was so impressed with it, I wanted to see what happened. Now, the only thing is, bonding agents, that degreaser will break. So, be careful with your super glue. But it worked pretty good. All right, so that is what we found out about the stripping the miniatures. Um, surprisingly enough, I think I may be changing my brand. Uh, Simple Green worked great, uh, better than anything else. In fact, that mummy miniature that I had, I soaked it in the Simple Green only for about 30 minutes. Now the acetone might have broken some of the bonds in the uh, acrylic paint, but in the end, the simple green was the last stuff that I put it in. Uh, last but not least, I cannot stress this enough, do not use regular plastic miniatures with acetone. You can use the rubberized miniatures. It's a different formula, the acetone will not eat into it as bad. But, best thing to do for that, do not use it for very long. Uh, it is mainly used to break down that enamel because regular degreaser will not do it. So again, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Check back for more. Be sure to subscribe. And remember, painted miniatures always roll better.